Welcome to Electron Line. Here we're going to take a look at the volume of a balloon and how it changes with respect to time. So that's what we're looking for here. We're trying to find the rate of change of the volume with respect to time and then we're going to evaluate that for time equals two seconds. So when we hear the words the rate of change we're thinking about derivative, the derivative of the volume but then we need to know what we need to take the derivative of with respect to what. And in this case, we're going to do it with respect to time, which means we're looking for dv dt. So we're going to take the derivative of this with respect to time. So let's rewrite this as 4 times t squared plus 5 to the 1 half power. That makes it easier to see what the derivative looks like. And so this then becomes equal to 1 half times 4 times the quantity t squared plus 5, subtract 1 from the exponent, the minus 1 half, times the derivative of what's inside, so times 2t. Now the 1 half and the 2 will cancel out, so this becomes equal to dv dt is equal to 4 times t divided by the square root of t squared plus 5 in the denominator. So now what we have here is we have an equation that describes the rate of change of the volume with respect to time. Now we can evaluate that when time is equal to 2 seconds. So the dv dt, when t equals 2 seconds, is equal to, and now all we have to do is plug in 2 for every t that we see in here. So it would be 4 times 2 divided by the square root of 2 squared plus 5. Five. So that would be equal to 8 divided by the square root of 4 plus 5, that's 9, the square root of 9. So that's equal to 8 divided by 3. And now, what are the units? Well, the units for volume would be, excuse me, would be cubic meters. The unit for time would be seconds. So the units would be cubic meters per second if this was in standard units. So again, when we take, when we find the rate of change of something, we're looking for the derivative and we need to find out what we need to take the derivative of with respect to time or, or what we need to take the derivative of with respect to, I should say. So in this case, with respect to time and we're taking the derivative of the volume. So it's the rate of change of the volume with respect to time. And that's how it's done.